Okay friends, today we start a new method for solving a pair of linear equations in two variables which is known as cross multiplication method. This one we will find in exercise 3.5 but before we go to solve the problems in the exercises, we have to understand some basic concepts. So please pay close attention, alright? This is the general form of a pair of linear equations all right a1 x plus p1 y plus c1 equals to zero and a2 x plus p2 y plus c2 equals to zero this is the general term of the linear equations so let me give you an example for example let's say we have a pair of linear equations like this 5x plus 3y minus 35 equals to 0 in another equation 2x plus 4y minus 28 equals to 0 now if we compare the general form with this the, with these two equations we have considered as examples and if we compare we will get a1 as a1 is 5 right what about b1 b1 will be b1 is 3 okay what about c1 c1 is c1 is 35 but we have to take care of the minus sign here all right so this is minus 35 what about similarly what about a2 a2 will be uh, here it's 2 b2 will be 4 exactly and c2 again it will be minus 28 so this is how we figure out what is a1 p1 c1 a2 p2 and c2 now in order for us to proceed towards cross multiplication and how to understand um, the formula or the method we have to first understand these three concepts okay there are three conditions for the beer of linear equations the first is when a1 by a2 is not equals to p1 by p2 then the equations will have a unique solution okay a1 by a2 it is not equals to p1 by p2 then we have a unique solution the second condition is this when a1 by a2 is equals to p1 by p2 is equals to c1 by c2 then the equations will have infinitely many solutions and the third condition is when a1 by a2 is equals to p1 by p2 but is not equals to c1 by c2 then there is no solution for the pair of linear equations okay now how to get the equations for the cross multiplication method i'm so sorry for the horrible handwriting okay so this is how we do it mm, i'll give you a small idea how to how to derive the formula okay what we do is we simply write here p1 p2 at the beginning then we go a bit here and then we write the same thing again p1 p2 okay now this p1 by p2 here then it will be followed by c1 c2 okay then next before p1 p2 we write a1 a2 okay so we write these variables in this order and the formula is this the formula or yes is this x then we put a line like this and the denominator is yeah the denominator goes like this we have to cross this first so uh, we will get p1 c2 right if we multiply this to p1 c2 and 
this 2 that is p2 c1 so minus p2 c1 is equals to y again t denominator c1 a2 minus cross multiply again c2 a1 equals to 1 again cross multiply a1 p2 minus a2 p1 okay so this is the formula to solve the cross multiplication method but like i said we don't have to memorize this formula we get this formula from this from this okay so uh, this these are the basic concepts we have to understand in order to solve cross multiplication method so now in the next video we will start solving some problems under x